then, uh, then and she went with it for a while, and then she had to come home on the 29th so that she could be here for the induction of the Hall of Fame. And uh, she, hadn't flown, she hadn't flown in a long time by herself because she usually had a personal assistant or a front manager to go with her to show her the way. So I was really scared to death about her flying alone all the way from Vienna back to Nashville because I knew how fragile she was. Well, she made the flight home with, without any problem, but I really didn't know until then. I got this email uh, not long after after we lost her. And this email was such a relief and comfort for me. And I want to read it to you because it, it typifies uh, what I just said about her never meeting a stranger. And this letter goes, it said, Larry, you don't know me. We've never met. But I was fortunate enough to meet your late wife recently, who for some reason, only she knew, gave me your card. On Friday of last week, I was flying through Chicago to Nashville and sat next to Naomi. Being a bit of a country and western Philistine, I had no knowledge of who she was, her accomplishments, her, or her achievements. It is safe to say that the next 90 minutes we spent in each other's company was not only entertaining, fascinating, and enlightening, but also, for me at least, thoroughly enjoyable. It's a small comfort, I'm sure, but my life seems a lot richer after meeting your wife, however briefly. And I cannot begin to even contemplate, let alone understand how difficult things must be for you right now. Truly sorry for your loss. Obviously, I didn't know Naomi at all, but I can tell you, she spoke highly and warmly of you and the life you shared together. Rest assured, she loved you and had no qualms about telling me a stranger on a plane that was so. I do hope you forgive this intrusion for, from a complete stranger at this difficult time, but it's a measure of the impact your wife had on me that I felt compelled to write. And my deepest sympathies, best regards, I won't give his last name, but David. That was just out of the blue email the day after she passed away, and needless to say, it brought great, great pleasure and comfort to me.